The much-awaited EV9 mid-sized SUV was released by Kia in the North American market in 2019 as part of its plan to increase its lineup of electric vehicles to 11 models by 2026. The EV9, positioned as the Korean company's flagship model, is essentially the Telluride's SUV's electric sibling. The midsize SUV from Kia will be a three-row family vehicle built to be on the same EGMP architecture that underpins the Hyundai Ioniq 7. Although the information on the EV9 is still largely unofficial, it's clear from what the brand has said so far that it will offer the high-end vehicle with the potential for good off-road performance. Welcome to Electrify for instant updates on the electric world. In today's video, we'll see what the 2024 Kia EV9 has in store. Before we get into the video, share and subscribe to our channel. Also, tap on the bell icon for notifications. We've seen luxury sedans, compact crossovers, and even a few pickup trucks as automakers cautiously enter the realm of electric vehicles. The absence of three-row crossovers from popular automakers may be the most unexpected, even though many segments still lack all-electric options. In 2021, Kia debuted the EV9 concept at the Los Angeles Auto Show for the first time. We were still determined at the time how the basic version would resemble the idea, but as you can see above, it's close. It has more conventional headlights, real side view mirrors, and stable rear doors, although we were surprised to expect those to make it into production. Kia is driving a shift in favor of electric cars. The firm's superb and agile EV6 is its first electric vehicle to bear the EV moniker. The EV9 will be the next car in the production line. The EV9 is a bulky, three-row SUV with off-road capabilities. It's an electric version of the Kia Telluride SUV, winner of the World Vehicle of the Year award. With the introduction of the 2024 Kia EV9, the South Korean automaker abandoned its cautious last-in strategy for entering new segments in favor of an early adopter swan dive. Kia invited the media to Seoul in South Korea to see a full-size prototype sporting the finalized production design, even though the company still needs to disclose technical information on its first three-row EV. Look for all that information near the end of March, when Kia plans a digital debut for the EV9. The Kia brand has a new nameplate for the EV9, which is the next step in the company's ambition to have 11 new electric vehicles available by 2026. The release of the EV9 is anticipated for April 2023. Probably at the end of 2023, or at least in the early months of 2024, is when it will go on sale. The way it looks overall is quite catchy, but styling is a personal thing. It's boxy and stands out from the rest in the parking lot because of its unusual appearance. In addition, it has a distinct look and it's not just a bigger EV6. Kia still needs to disclose the EV9's official specs, but even still, if it follows the concept's measurements, it will be slightly shorter overall than the Kia Telluride, despite having a nearly 8-inch long wheelbase. As a result, it won't be little, but it also won't be as big as it might look in the pictures. The Kia lineup is about to change to include more electric vehicles. The EV9 SUV, as big as the present three-row Telluride that only runs on gas, is built on the same chassis as the future Hyundai Ioniq 7. Although it's too early to provide specifics, the EV9 will come in various trim levels with rear and all-wheel drive options. Kia hasn't disclosed details on the EV9's battery capacity nor motors. Still, to compete, they'll need to deliver something with a range of 220 to 300 miles on a single charge and functional towing capabilities with a maximum trailing weight of 4,500 pounds. Key details like range, price, and horsepower are still under wraps, but Kia will make them public closer to the EV9's launch in April 2023. Although the Kia EV9's exact price has not yet been released, we anticipate the lowest model will start at a competitive $56,000. Although the names and levels of the trims have not yet been decided, they're expected to follow the same hierarchy as the smaller EV6 SUV, which is already in production. We'll update you with the new information as soon as we learn more, along with a recommendation for which trims will provide the most value for your money. Now, before we continue to the rest of the video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to smash that like button. Also, enable the bell icon for more exciting videos just like this one. Now, moving back onto the video. Let's talk a little bit about its EV motor, its power, and its performance. 
reports point to a straightforward offering. Official horsepower and performance stats are still under wraps at the Kia HQ. But we anticipate that lower end EV9 trims with single motors will have about 200 horsepower with rear wheel drive. By adding a second motor up front and doubling the number of engines, all wheel movement may increase horsepower output by at least 400%. The EV9 is expected to be constructed with range and hauling in mind, rather than acceleration and performance since it's based on the gas-only Telluride. According to Kia, the EV9 will charge at 350 kilowatt fast charging stations and drive 300 miles. In the weeks leading up to the SUV's release, we should learn more about the size of the SUV's base battery pack and whether a larger one would be an option. The Kia EV6 has a design that expertly combines aspects of the urban and future worlds. Regarding the external profile, we anticipate an identical design for the EV9. This three-row SUV's production version has been teased and appears to be highly influenced by the EV9 concept. This, together with what we've observed of the EV9 test mule, led us to assume that it would be a bold exterior design with subtle character lines, giving it a chic yet manly aspect. Similar to its look, the interior of the EV9 in 2024 will incorporate most of its concept version's features. We anticipate it will be packed with lots of deluxe features and creature comforts because it's the flagship offering. But this SUV's interior will also have a simple design, as is typical for most EVs. The materials will be composed of environmentally friendly materials, as we've seen in the EV9 concept. Depending on whether the second row has buckets or a bench, the EV9 will be available in six or seven passenger versions. The third row is a power folding on the more expensive EV9 models. The second row of the Kia EV9 is just as luxurious and roomy as the Tellurides, even though Kia still needs to provide a complete list of specifications. Legroom and headroom are better in the third row. Like the Swivel and Go feature introduced by Chrysler on their 2008 minivan, the second row of seats may also be turned to face the back. The new EV9 electric SUV will feature contemporary technology and connectivity, providing passengers with a luxurious experience. A 27-inch horizontal display that fits the infotainment displays and instrument cluster will also be used to demonstrate its concept. The production version is probably going to keep everything the same. The SUV is also anticipated to include wireless network options and a mobile device charging port. The huge sunroof from the Kia EV9 concept car was another feature that will remain almost the same in the final model. The steering wheel had a distinctive design in the prototype car as well. It'll be interesting to see if the same's produced. A 12.3-inch gauge cluster screen and an infotainment screen with a specific HVAC readout are inside the EV9. Only a few essential HVAC controls and a volume knob remain on the EV9, in addition to touch sensitiveness incorporated in the dash, allowing you to switch between menus quickly. The EV9 also has fewer buttons than the current Kia models on the market. Information on the EV9's brand new infotainment system, which will be made public once the new three-row is presented, is also being withheld. Contrary to the concept's yoke, the steering wheel has a conventional design, although part of the design's inspiration is visible in the dual horizontal spokes. The chairs, however, have comfortable mesh headrests. The shape is appealing and resembles a Volvo. About the back seats, they demand their sentence. Second row captain's chairs with a twist are located in the manufacturing prototype. It's simpler to interact with the third row passengers since they may turn around to face the back 180 degrees. To simplify loading and unloading, the chairs rotate 90 degrees. Comparable to the contemporary Telluride, the third row is spacious enough for an adult. Kia isn't disclosing any technical information on the EV9, other than saying that the eGMP platform is its foundation. Yet with that knowledge, we may safely assume just a few things. One is that the EV9 will have a 400 and 800 volt design, enabling quick DC charging. Layouts with two and one motor should also be possible, and the EV9's larger size might make room for a bigger battery. So what do you think? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting content, and we'll see you in the next video.